Hello everybody, Sly Starcraft here with a Zerg vs. Protoss Heart of the Swarm commentary on Belsteer Vistage. My opponent is Tablecloth and he's going to be in the top left as the red Protoss because I have enabled the special colors where yourself is green and all your enemies are red. Really helpful in 1v1s if you want to change it though. You can be red or blue while your opponent is the uh, opposite of what you are. I'm assuming red and blue are opposites, right? I mean, they're not opposite the color spectrum, but like they seem to be used, I guess like in gaming terms or competition terms, red and blue seem to be opposites just because they're such common colors for, you know, the two teams. But as far as prism spectrum opposites or whatever, I would say red and blue are not opposites. But uh, some of you like scientists will tell me if that's if that sounds about right or not. Because uh, I think the complementary colors are uh, are the complementary colors are the ones opposite on the color wheel, right? So like orange and blue, purple, yellow, and red and green. So maybe these two colors are opposite, red and green. I don't know. I don't know. Someone will explain it to me, I'm sure. And we'll be like, Sai, you're so cute for trying, but this is how it really works. Science, science, math, math. Blah, 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 blah. And I'll be like, oh, thanks, dude. You don't have to be a dick about it, but, you know, whatever. Thanks for the information. There goes my phone. So yeah, uh, ZVP, no wall off from me opponent. I like this map. You too. Who who says it like that? No one says you and then the number. <laughs> it's like if if you're gonna take shortcuts, just type the letter U and then two. What are you smoking, dude? Try to stay consistent. You gotta stay consistent with that kind of shit. Pull going up. Whenever I don't get a drone sc a probe scout, I always feel so suspicious that they're gonna like proxy gate me or something. There's the drone probe. Probe. You know what I mean. When I say drone instead of probe or whatever, you don't get your fucking panties in a bunch. Is he in my base or is he down here? Oh, he's making stuff. Uh, oh, he's committing. He's committing. I'm getting. I'm gonna send four guys. I normally don't send four, but he seems like he wants this to happen very fiercely. So let's just try to block off anywhere he would try to do it. Okay, looks like he's gonna cancel. Nope, he's not gonna cancel. Okay. We're gonna do this. What's he doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, he's gonna he's giving up on that, so we're just gonna leave these guys here because this hatchery is almost done anyway. I forgot to get an overlord, unfortunately. Uh, I tend to do that a lot. You guys can return it here. And he, he just wasted a little bit of minerals, so that's good. Unfortunately, my overlord not getting itch is kind of annoying. So, pretty good start, I'd say. Uh, you know, forcing him 125 minerals, slowing down a couple of his buildings. He did, you know interrupt my drone mining for a bit, but having that pile on there when he shouldn't, didn't, well, doesn't really need it is cool. So you can see I'm not going gas, I'm, I'm trying the three base style more often this game, or against Toss, just because I think it's better. I've been watching a little bit of StarCraft to kind of know, so let's see, let's see if it works. Thing's going to be taken down this pylon, and we can get another drone over on this side for the next base. You can see my Overlord scouting is an expansion, so I'm not worried about that. Cybernetic score coming up for him. Is it going to cannon this base out is my question. Doesn't look like it. He could do it. No, he can't. Never mind. I was going to say you could do it from the sledge, but you can't even get up there. So that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you're silly. <clears throat> going to get my links at the front of his base. That seems like a kind of an early core. I might be wrong, though. I don't know. Get another queen. This queen's gonna end up going to this third base, which is why I'm getting a queen at my main as well. Why are you guys going that way? I told you to rally to the main. Another overload on the way. Gonna have to move this guy eventually once the core completes. And he might be cannoning my third, actually, so I probably should have kept an overload there or kept, like, maybe a ling there or something. But, oh well. Hopefully he isn't cannoning it. Hopefully he's cutting his losses as far as the cannoning thing goes. And we're gonna start rallying to the third because our other bases are saturated on minerals and the third will be done pretty quickly queen here is almost finished there it is you're gonna be my creep queen you are my creep queen really good economy so far like I said gas is gonna start pretty soon here get out of there Link. Oh, you guys need to go back. This hatchery is done, you silly billies. Lots of... Holy crap, I have really good saturation right now. I need a roach warren, though. I don't have overlord vision. I never... I always forget to get, like... Scouting. Overlord scouting. 
And we're going to need to pump out some roaches here pretty soon. I can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. Let's get some lings. We've got three base amazing saturation. This guy's going to check for a third base over there. And let's just get lots of lings. You need to inject, bitch. Spread some creep. Uh, I could probably spread some more creep this way. And these lanes kind of are watching some good stuff. Let's get some overlords. Got a lot of uh, minerals. Roaches, overlords. Got lots of lings. Oh, he is getting a third. Okay. <coughs> well, in that case, we can kind of stop the unit production. Die, stalker! And let's go ahead and get a lair. We're going to get speed soon here, too. And we're just going to get a lot more links because he's going for a pretty fast third. So this is the first time I've actually seen a toss do this. So let's saturate this. We're going to get Ling speed. Let's get a macro hatch just because I'm so heavy on minerals. My gases were late. That's why my minerals are so high. So macro hatch will hopefully help that problem. As well as all these gases coming. I don't need to do that yet. And speed... Link speed. Let's get a couple evos. Maybe we can just get another base. Let's just do that. If he's going to go for a quick third, I can go for a quick fourth. <clears throat> Maybe I can uh, cancel his third with my little battalion. Probably not. He'll probably just push it away. I don't have link speed, which is kind of necessary for that type of thing. But uh, let's do this. This queen's going to go to the main, so I have a macro queen, a macro hatch queen. Doesn't seem to have a lot. Six, five. Well, those lings didn't do a whole lot. <clears throat> Let's just make a bunch of lings. I don't see him having a lot of units, so. Three, three. Alright, our bases are completely saturated. Now we're going to start going to the fourth. Probably should have taken this as the fourth. But oh well. Hopefully it won't be that big of a deal. This guy is a master player. Gotta make sure to hotkey my uh, macro hatch. Now let's send these lings. We're gonna go Hydra or uh, Ling Muta with some quick T3 since uh, he is going very heavy macro. I wanna go heavy macro tech as well. So we're gonna saturate the space. Let's see if we can get some lings up in here. He does have a void raise though. Mutas will do fine against Void Race. That's okay. Yeah, plus one attack. Yeah, he does. That's annoying. So just kind of keeping his count count low, which is fine. That's all I really want to do at this point. Mutas almost ready to be produced. There we go. Might even need another macro hatch. I feel like he doesn't he's not ready for a timing attack because he hasn't really reaped the benefits of his third yet. So I think these mutas will be really good for map control, obviously they're mutas. And to uh stall for my tech to finish, because obviously I want to get ultras. And once he sees my mutas, he might switch up into Phoenix, in which case it might be a bad idea to go ultras. But we'll see. We'll see what he just decides to do once I get a bunch of mutas out. He might just hit, so maybe I should just start making a bunch of fucking units. Might be a bad, good idea. You are oversaturated. You need to start some upgrades. Let's get a bunch of lings. Now the reason ling muta is supposed to work is sentries are really good against lings, but oh shit. Well, I got, I gotta stop with the mutas. Oh, they're not even all there. That's why this this battle's going so poorly. Alright, time to change the plans. Change of plans. Can't really make that work. Oh shit, why do I have a... Swarm host. That's pretty good.
I'm not really sure what my end game is here. I guess that did all right. I have a swarm host here. I guess I could use that. Uh, I do want to get some spores here since he's got Phoenix. I guess we get ultras. I mean, if he doesn't have void rays, which he might not, then it could work. I think he had like two actually in the main or something. Oh, uh, he's got three. So he does have Void Rays. Let's go ahead and just kill the Cybernetic Score. So bad. What? What is he talking about? <clears throat> that was mean. Just because I'm making a bunch of lings? <laughs> what? What is he talking about? This is by no means all in. What the hell? I've got a lot of workers. So Li Hydra Ultralisk, can't say that's something you can usually do and afford. It's very odd. Good overlord speed and like some overseers just in case. <laughs> Over <laughs> All in you idiot, are you serious? What is this guy thinking? This space is going to be depleted soon so I'm going to end up uh, using some workers from here. Inject, inject, inject. Hydras don't have upgrades which is kind of a bummer but hopefully I'll be okay. Ultras have pretty good upgrades. Let's do this. We're just gonna slam right into them. My, I don't think my hydras have the range upgrade. Oh, they have the range, they just don't have the speed. That's fine. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Yeah. All in, huh? <laughs> these hydras are gonna slaughter these void rays. He only had three more over here, and obviously my I don't know what like <laughs> I basically stalled with mutas, which didn't do a whole lot, and then I just, I just out macroed him. I don't know what he wants from me. I out macroed him like crazy. He just went for a fast lure, and I I was able to scout it, and I just made tons of drones. What a fucking tool! I need to talk shit to him if I can. What a dildo, Baggins. <clears throat> Explain to me how that was all in. <laughs> LOL. LOL, you gotta throw in the LOL there. He has 79 APM. I don't have the highest APM in the world, but he has 79 APM. <laughs> Alright, what's his record? Napkin. More like Fapkin. I can't, how does he have that many wins? What's his average APM anyway? I don't even. 69. Zerg gets 10. You have 69. Wait, what? I, I'm so confused. I don't know what this guy's saying, you guys. I wasn't the one with 69 APM, was I? No, he had 10. Zerg gets 10 free APM. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching.